I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is good bugs, bad bugs. So up here on the corner, left side, I'm going to write good bugs slash bad bugs. Okay? Alright, starting over here on the left, I'm going to take two fingers and right about here put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a big curve line up down, connect. Right next to that about midpoint right here I draw another big curve line up, down, connect. And right here in the center I'm going to draw another big curve line up, down, connect. Okay. Come over to this side and we're just going to draw zigzag, 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 connect. Come down, zigzag, zigzag, connect. Come down again, zigzag, zigzag, connect. Now we're going to draw a curve line in the center, jump over, all the way down to the bottom. Okay? I come to my middle space and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down and leave it floating. Come back to the dot, curve line down, and connect. Starting right here at the top, I'm going to go up, down, up, down, straight lines, straight lines, up, down, up, down, up, down, connect. On the left hand side, I'm going to do the same thing, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, connect. In the center, I draw a curve line down. And now, starting on the sides, I draw a curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, connect. And this is a mealy bug. Mealy bug. Now, I'm going to start at the top here and just draw a curve line, jump over. Curve line down, connect. Okay. Now I come to this side and I'm going to draw a curve line. Come back to the left and we're going to draw curve line out, curve line in, connect on the left, curve line out, curve line in, connect on the right. We're going to put little baby straight lines on the right, little baby straight lines on the left. Now come down and draw a curve line down, up, connect. This is an aphid. A P H I D. And right here we're going to draw zigzag, 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 connect. And come up to the top, we're going to draw a curve line, jump over, curve line down, connect. Okay. Now we come over to the right hand side. We take two fingers and put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line to the left, come back to the dot, curve line to the right. Come back to the left, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, connect. We're going to come inside on the left and draw a pretty good sized circle on the left. A pretty good sized circle on the right. Inside we put a dot and a dot. Two straight lines and now from the left we're going to mimic that line, straight line up, straight line connect. Come all the way up to the top and we're going to draw a big curve line out, in, connect. Come on the left hand side, big curve line out, in, connect. Now, come over on the right hand side, we're going to draw straight line down, straight line down, connect. Right here, well it's floating, right here we draw a flat oval, a flat oval, 
a curve line down, and then a curve line up, zigzag, zigzag, connect. Come up to the top, we're going to do it again. We're going to draw a flat oval, flat oval, curve line out, down, zigzag, zigzag, up, connect. Now we come over to this section and we're just going to draw a big curve line off the page. Come back up, we're going to draw it again, another big curve line off the page. Right here in the center, let's draw another curve line down off the page. Now, starting on this top part, we draw straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down off the page. Mimic it, straight line up down off the page. Come down a little bit, straight line up, down off the page, mimic it, straight line up, down off the page. Now come across, we're going to draw a straight line up, straight line out off the page, mimic it, straight line, straight line off the page, and a baby one, straight line, straight line out off the page, mimic it, straight line, straight line off the page. Okay, now right about here at the top, watch what I do, we're going to draw an oval. We're going to put a little curve line at the top. One, two little straight lines. Come inside, we're going to draw a curve line to the left. Come up and draw a curve line to the right. One, two, three straight lines. One, two, three baby circles. One, two, three straight lines. One, two, three baby circles. Inside, draw one, two, three baby circles. If you have room, right here, let's draw another one. Draw me an oval, little curved line, straight line one, two. One, two, three straight lines, baby circle, baby circle, baby circle. One, two, three straight lines, baby circle, baby circle, baby circle. Come inside, draw a curve line down to the left, curve line up to the right. One, two, three baby circles. Come over here, all the way in the center, we're going to draw one more. Pretty good size oval, curve line, one, two, one, two, three, straight lines, baby circles, jump over, one, two, three, baby circles, baby circles, baby circles. Come inside, curve line to the left, curve line to the right, one, one, two, baby circles. Okay, I think that's it. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, I'm going to start with my leaves. And the first thing I'm going to do is follow this line dark. Come in and put some more dark lines. Now you might be saying, what the heck is this? These are the leaves on maybe a garden plant or a plant that's in, um, in a holder. And it's being attacked by these mealybugs and these aphids. So these little sections right here, I took blue-green and I colored them in. And this is where the bad bugs have eaten through the leaves. This is how your plants die. They get eaten by bugs. Then I come back with my regular green, lightly loop-de-loop -loop, so that you can tell and remember that this is a plant. It could be in a garden or a house plant. It still can be attacked by the bad bugs. Okay, so we're going to work this up. Make sure you use like a blue-green or a different color to show that they've already eaten through this leaf and this leaf also. I used blue-green. You might want to make a different choice. Now, the mealy bugs are easy because they're white. And my aphids are yellow for the space, big space, and then brown. 
Now, I've made these really kind of big so that you could see what they look like, but usually on a plant, they're teeny tiny. They're little, okay? But that's basically the way they are. All right. Now, my good bugs. My good bugs, I'm going to take yellow and do this eyeball and this V right here. This guy is a praying mantis, and I'm going to make him all yellow green. If you don't have yellow green, you might want to use your green and do it lightly. And a praying mantis looks at the aphids. All of this is light green. And he looks at the mealybugs and goes, all right, dinner, lunch, breakfast. They feed on the bad bugs. That's why you want praying mantis. Never kill a praying mantis. They're doing a job for you in the garden. So then, after you have that colored in, amazingly, and a lot of people don't know this, ladybugs are also good to have in your garden because they eat the aphids and the mealy bugs for lunch, breakfast, and dinner. So I'm coloring in all my spots. These are all black. My feet and my head is black. And ladybugs, you can buy all of these online. So if you need a package of praying mantis, they'll send it to you. They're, they won't be hatched yet. They'll be in their egg form. But then they hatch and you put them in your garden. Same thing with the ladybugs. They, send, they can send you a whole package of them through the mail. But I think it's very interesting that this is a way of doing your garden without using pesticides. We don't want to do pesticides because that can kill birds and butterflies and all kinds of good things. So if you want to get rid of these guys, you got to use nature. Okay, once you've colored this all in, you know how I am. I'm going to add a yellow straight line in the background just to kind of break up that white. Now, some of you might want to do this as a house plant. You might want to make it a bigger plant than what I've drawn. But these are the main characters in this garden. Okay, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my good bugs, bad bugs, doing battle, feeding each other, and doing it all without pesticides. Okay, bye-bye.